Happy Sunday, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Hi, it's T from Betty and Brenda, and welcome back to my channel for yet another soaping adventure. <laughs> and yes, I call it a soaping adventure because you never know how these soaps are going to turn out. And that's exactly what happened today. So over the next few weeks, I am doing Harry Potter inspired soaps. I love Harry Potter. I own all the movies. I watch them just about every time they come on. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And I know there probably have been thousands of Harry Potter soaps, but you know what? I've never done one. So just because something has been done doesn't mean that you can't do it. So I decided, you know, I'll go ahead and give it a shot myself. So for the next few weeks, as I said, you're going to see Harry Potter soaps. And today I decided to do one and I'm calling it, as you can already see, or maybe I don't know if I put the title up or not, um, but it's for Privet Drive. And you remember the scene when Harry Potter first got, if you've watched it, when he first got his acceptance letter into Hogwarts, and you know, the uncle was keeping it from him, you know, the whole thing. Well, there's a scene when all these owls just position themselves on the roof of the house, all around the yard, they're everywhere. So what I was trying to do was create the house with the roof, with the owls on the roof. And you'll get to see how it turned out and... Um, kind of where it kind of went wrong <laughs> during the video. So keep watching and you'll see me make this soap. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you'll know every time I put out a video. And over the next few weeks, I'm probably going to put out more than one in a week because I have some other soaps uh, videos that I need to get out before I jump into the holiday season so you may see more than one so be sure to click that notification bell so you'll know when i put out a video and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe um i'm sorry follow me on instagram and on facebook at betty and brenda bath co and since it's labor day weekend i'm having a lather day <laughs> a lather day sale not labor day sale but a lather day sale so you can go out to bettyandbrenda.com if you'd like to try any of my products. I have some items on sale. And I think that's enough of me talking. So I'm going to be quiet here, let you get to the video. And as the video is going on, I'll explain to you what I should have done to make the soap better than what it was. I mean, hey, it's growing on me. I still kind of like it. Um, the next ones I like even better, but again, okay, I'm quiet. Go ahead, watch the video, chat with you later. Bye. So here's my recipe that I got on, or that I created on soapmakingfriends.com. Uh, you can look in the, des the description box for the full recipe. And here I have my um, hard oils already melted, and that's avocado, cocoa, butter, and coconut oil mixed with my liquid oils, apricot, castor, and rice bran. And as you can see, I am using mocha, um, which is a dark brown, and I'm also mixing in some honey blush, which is a sort of a lighter tan kind of color because the house was um, brown or shades of brown. And then I'm also putting in a little bit of that gold mica. And my fragrance is sun-kissed cocoa. So here I'm adding my additives. And that's oatmeal, which is like a natural exfoliant and can help soothe the skin. And in addition to oatmeal, um, most times I also add kaolin clay, which I'm adding here. And it also helps to absorb... Um, excess oil in the skin but the main reason I like it is because it adds sort of a slip or a silkiness to your finished soap so it you know it helps make the lather a little more creamy Here's my life solution today, which is water, uh, silk fibers, I have a little sugar in there, and some sodium lactate. So you see me tapping here just to release some of the air bubbles, 
and I am soaping at about 80 degrees. I normally stay between 80 and 85. I don't like it too hot, but I also don't like it too cool. though the top of the soap <laughs> will have soap frosting I always swirl the top <laughs> not for any reason except for the fact that I just like to do it I just think it's fun to play in the soap and unfortunately I turned it off to let my soap frosting set up and I forgot to press record so you missed me putting most of the soap frosting on but here it is I am putting on the top layer of the soap frosting and this is supposed to represent of course the top of the house these are supposed to be the chimney pieces and this is mistake number one I use these just by placing some soap in a rectangle um, silicone mold so nothing special here but the problem is that I made the chimneys too big so as you can see while I'm pushing them down in the soap it's actually pushing my soap over so I should have either made the chimney smaller or um, not um, pour the soap into the top of the mold and here's mistake number two I'm just putting a little bit of soap on the top so I can stick in my owls which I made those also from a silicone mold the owls as you will see are actually too big so while they fit on the top my my plan was to put those on the top right there so they could so there could be an owl on top of the chimney and then put owls on the other side of the soap, you know, just so to show several owls, just like in the movie. But they were too big. I should have used soap dough owls. So as you can see, I had to scrap that whole idea and put the owls on the side of the soap instead. And I'm sorry I didn't record that either. Because um, it was way too high, I couldn't cut it. So that's why I had to put them on the side. And then they were too big for me to put more than one. So this is how it actually turned out. Not bad, but not how I wanted it. I wanted there to be at least two owls on the soap. Um, like I said, I, this was before I really got into the soap dough, but I should have made owls using soap dough so they could have been smaller. I had to push the soap all the way over to the side just to be able to cut it. And you can see I have like a wooden plank on the side just to try to make sure that I was cutting straight pieces. So, but here's the soap and <clears throat> excuse me initially I did not like it 
But um, after it's been sitting for a while, I actually think it's kind of cute. Not exactly what I had in mind, but you can tell that there are owls there. So again, guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you'll know every time I put out a video. Please leave a, a message in the comment section. I like to see your messages. Let me know what you think about this soap. And as I said, there'll be a few more Harry Potter soaps. So stay tuned to see those. And I will chat with you guys next week. Bye.